I'm going to get back on track with these readings and make this reading for Libra. So if you're a Libra watching this or cross watching or you have Libra in your chart, that's who this reading is for. And I also have some notes that I took in advance um, just concerning this energy, something you might be resonating with. It feels like there's a person who you're associated with who only cares about themselves. They're wasting your time like no other. This is somebody that should not be trusted. If you can't relax around them, that's what the message is. If you can't relax around them, don't trust them. Like if you feel like you have to be on their on your toes 24-7 in their presence, like they're they're just waiting and lingering and uh lingering around and waiting to attach attach or attack you in some way. <clears throat> This is someone you just can't trust. It's not about you building up your confidence or um, being more secure about yourself or whatever. It's about them trying to be a leech to your energy. Yeah, I feel like it's definitely someone you can't relax around. So get rid of this person. If that's something you're resonating with. Let's just go ahead and take all of these cards that came out. This is going to be a real simple, easy read. You have King of Swords here. Nah, I'm not using these cards. I need to shuffle a little bit more. Okay, so these are King of Swords here. I wonder if this is someone you're dealing with or someone you're in a relationship. It could be a doctor. You could be dealing with a doctor, Libra. You could be a doctor. Someone in medical school. And this is what made me say doctor. I just saw this and now it's coming back up. You could be a surgeon or dealing with a surgeon or going into surgery. But this is somebody you can't be. Someone that I almost say you can't be trusted around. But now it feels like it's, yeah, maybe it's someone you're attracted to. Like somebody you were manifesting. The, the energy is changing. Like it's literally supposed to be about the title. But I don't feel like I can control it. Someone who only cares about themselves. Waste time like no other. This could be somebody that you manifested. Maybe you're getting tired of them and you realize that they're a waste of time. But this is somebody that you actually manifested or wished for. You have temperance here. So it's about staying in balance. Uh, balance between solids and liquid when it comes to your emotions. I almost feel like this is somebody you really don't have to care about. You have five of wands. Like somebody was fighting over your energy in the past, but now you don't even care. I feel like it's not like, it's not a throne you have to protect. So what's the real deal? Like what's going on with this energy? This is someone you definitely defeated. Or someone feels defeated by you. But I feel like you're the king of swords here. And then you have three of wands. Alright, like there's something coming towards you. Like a whole lot of commotion or something that you might have manifested. Um, not just because I see cars pulling up. Probably kids getting out or something. But... It's like something you manifested that you're going to have to end up defeating. Like someone that you brought into your life. Or this could be sur surgery for some people. Somebody that you brought into your life that's about to cause a whole lot of chaos. And it's going to be somebody that's going to have to... It, whatever the situation is, you're going to have to stay afloat and stay in balance. Because I feel like... They don't really care about what's going on with you. Mm. 
Yeah, so definitely stay prayed up with this energy, whatever is coming towards you. Stay prayed up, stay focused. <laughs> so the reading did just get cut off just then. And I was just like, should I just end it now? But I did just start. Um, yeah, something is coming towards you like that. Like maybe something's getting cut off or something that you might have tried to cut off in the past that didn't really work out is being cut off. Like it just keeps coming back in your life. And now it's like, okay, now it's time to make a decision on basically like prepare yourself to deal with whatever this is. Somebody could be getting pregnant and maybe you've had abortions in the past, but this time around, you're just going to keep the child. I don't know. I feel like whoever this is, is like, it's somebody that you let, you have abandoned and rejected. Somebody that you walked away from. It's like you already won that battle. You already won that fight. But now you have to kind of deal with the scars for some people. Maybe this has to do with mental health. They say, I haven't given up on us yet. So again, it's like you've abandoned and rejected the situation. But whoever it is, they're coming back into your life because they want to be around you. And it's almost like they have more energy to keep coming back. And the warning is like, just save your energy because they're going to keep coming back. They only care about themselves. And yeah, they're wasting time. And it's like they're keeping you on your toes. So I feel like maybe you're going to have to do something where it's like you get something out of this as well. Force yourself to relax. Force yourself to not care about what's going on. Yeah, that's what I feel like it is. It's like something you just have to tell yourself that you're doing. Because I feel like even though these whoever this is is trying to intimidate you and scare you, you don't literally have a reason to be afraid. It would just be you feeding into whatever they expect from you. So you have expense tracking. Track your expenses diligently. Use apps or spreadsheets review your habits your spending habits and identify areas where you can save money so it's like whoever whatever this is that's happening is causing you to have to make do like you have to do something more to compensate with whatever's being pulled away from you whatever's being however your energy is being drained you have to do something to replenish it. And that's going to be expensive. Well, it may not be expensive, but it is definitely an expense that you're going to have to budget for and plan for. Literally, like, I'm just like, I can't do another reading without fingernails. I need fingernails. It's part of my personality now. I like it. And I'm just on my fingers. I mean, I've mentioned that, like, in every reading so far. And I don't know, I feel like it's something that needs to be mentioned again. Like whoever it is, like maybe you have to get your eyebrows arched. You have to apply makeup in the morning. You have to go to the gym. You have to get your hair done. And all of those things. Because whoever this is around you is definitely stressing you out. And I just, I don't feel like it's fair. Well, that's what the cards are saying. You have Knight of Wands, like you're planning something that's already coming to pass. And now you're just kind of springing for it and leaping forward into that. Just moving into this energy. With this face healing and meditations, like whatever the commotion was, it doesn't need, it could just be like a blink of an eye. Because before in the past, you might have spent a whole lot of time worried about what's happening around you. And now I feel like when you focus on yourself and taking care of yourself and not so much what other people care about. That's where the energy is really being used to its fullest. 